Welcome or welcome back, Cyber Explorers. It's Alfie, and in this video we'll explore together with this step-by-step -step guide. How to mirror Android screen to PC, connect phone to PC via USB cable. So without further ado, let's get right into it. First we will need to download the Screen Copy app, which is a free and open source screen mirroring application. This application mirrors Android devices, video and audio, connected via USB cable for Windows, Mac OS, and Linux systems. Second, the Android device requires at least a PI21, Android 5.0. Audio forwarding is supported for at least a PI30, Android 11. Make sure you enable USB debugging on your Android device. Note that on some devices, especially me devices, you might get an error. In that case, you need to enable an additional option, USB debugging, security settings, this is different from USB debugging to control it using a keyboard and mouse. Rebooting the device is necessary once this option is set. Note that USB debugging is not required to run the screen copy app in OTG mode. Now go to the screen copy application GitHub page and download the application. The link is in the description below. Then connect your Android device to the computer using the USB cable. Next go to your Android device, open settings, then tap about phone, and tap a few times on the MIUI version, or build number until you get a message on the device screen, that says you are now a developer. Then go to the main settings page, look for developer options. In my case the developer options is inside the additional settings option, and from there, look for USB debugging and enable it. If needed, look for USB debugging, security settings, and enable it. Now back to your computer, extract the screen copy application zip file, and copy and paste it anywhere you want on your drive. I will place it in the program files folder on the C drive. Then go to the Windows search bar, or the Start menu, type Command Prompt or CMD, right-click on it, and choose Run as Administrator. Then type CD followed by the path of the Screen Copy folder, in my case I will type, and hit Enter to navigate to the Screen Copy folder. I added the path inside quotes because the path has a space in it, Program Files. If your SC or CPY folder path does not have a space in it, then there is no need to add the quotes. Now in the command prompt, type SC or CPY and hit enter to open the screen copy app and mirror your Android screen to your PC. Now every time you want to open the screen copy app, you need to go to the folder path first, then type SC or CPY. To be able to run SC or CPY from anywhere in the command prompt, we need to set the path to the system environment variables. We can do that by going to the Windows search bar or start menu typing environment variables or E and V, then clicking on edit the system environment variables. Then click on environment variables, and under system variables, double click on path for select path and click on edit. Then click on new and paste the screen copy folder path. Lastly click on OK, OK again, then apply, and OK. Finally, close the command prompt and reopen it as administrator. You can now just type SC or CPY and hit enter to open the screen copy app and mirror your Android screen to your PC without navigating to the folder path first. Create a batch file to open screen copy directly. Instead of setting the SC or CPY path in the system environment variables and opening CMD to type SC or CPY, you can create a batch file that runs these commands with a click. Right click on the desktop, go to new, and then click on text document. Open the text document and copy and paste the code into it. The code is in the description below. 
Don't forget to change C program files SC or CPY to your SC or CPY folder path. And if you have already added the SC or CPY folder path to the system environment variables, you can remove the CD line. Now go to file and click on save as. Type any name you want for the file, but make sure to add .bat at the end. In the save as type drop down, select all files and then click save. Now you can open the bat file and it will automatically run the commands and open screen copy app. And that's it for today. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing, and don't forget to activate the notification bell so you won't miss out on any new uploads. Thank you for watching, until next time, see you later.